Hey YouTube, back with another video on CardWiz. The bottom panel is back in the game. The play field is all refurbished and the back box is done as well. So we're going to do just a couple more videos and finish things up. Uh, one of the things that we mentioned from last time on that bottom panel were some of the hold relays that were getting kind of toasty. Um, I did look at the, the actual schematics, but I think this was the tilt and then the tilt hold relay. You can tell that they were getting kind of toasty and really from... When they were installed in the game, you could really only kind of see this halo burn mark. But, uh, you know, this plastic bobbin started off as that tannish white color, and it's getting pretty toasty. Again, these were still working fine. They probably would have kept working for a while, but somewhere down the line, they probably would have become a problem. Because now if we look at, I can't remember which one was which here, because the wrappers are gone. But this was either the game over relay or the first ball relay. And this one, you can tell, is quite a bit darker. Um, the, the coil wrapper is actually burned off completely, and then these have a bit more charring going on. And then I think this one was the first ball relay. It was even worse. It, it is black, and uh, it's, it's hard to tell on camera here, but this, all of these should be on a solid plastic bobbin. And um, if you twist this one top to bottom, you can actually, I could probably hold it here. You can see that it's moving quite a bit. So it's actually charred to the point where it, it's falling apart. And again, this part electrically was still working, but after a while it might have completely gone open or it might have even burned the varnish off of that wire and shorted out and then caused grief for the, the homeowner or the game owner in home later on down the road. So I just went ahead and replaced those. Everything's back, the bottom panel. I got the line cord replaced and everything's working. Now we'll go over the play field probably last and go over the play field and gameplay features because I actually figured out what it's supposed to be doing now that it's all working. But okay, in the back box, pretty standard fare here. If you need to change the lights, you can swing this lever over that will move that and then the panel will lay out. It won't come all the way back, it'll stop on these rests so you can change bulbs and things like that. But uh, we have the first player and second player here. Again, remember that um, there's a dummy zero over here. So this is the the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands going across. So actually, did I say that wrong? No. Nah. There's a zero over there. But then there's only four score reels per per player. Um and kind of standard fare, there's some circuit boards on some of them. That's so that it can do its it would be the match feature on this unit, and then it would probably be high score thresholds on the other ones too. So um, I'm not too familiar with this style of score reel. I didn't take any videos or pictures going through it. I just kind of put my head down and plowed through it. But uh, just do them one at a time because if you screw one of these up, you always have an assembled example to kind of go back to. So there's going to be a zero position switch. There's probably going to be a, so a nine, ninth position switch and then a carryover switch to the next one, especially when this one reaches nine. This one needs to go to one or to the next number at least and, and so on. And then uh, we did a video on that credit unit, but that's now unfrozen and working. Went through and cleaned all the Jones plugs. So again, this is from the bottom panel, as is this one. Or one of them, these might be bottom panel, this one might be play field. Uh, here is your three or five ball adjust. So I've, I've set it to three, that's what the, the owner has had it on for years, so I just left it there. But you would just put it on the left side for five. Up here are all of your high score threshold plugs. So these are just the the spares that you could do, but then we have them set up here. I just matched that to whatever card was in the apron. But over here, you can kind of see which plugs to do and then which ones to get your point thresholds. And then there's a couple other Jones plugs up here that you can clean up. These go to the F relay. Um, I can't remember what this is called. Unfortunately, all my little labels have fallen off, but you can look up F on the on the schematic and figure that out what its actual name is. But this is the, the little, you know, one of those tiny steppers. Can't get a great picture of it. It's one of those tiny steppers. But this controls the match feature. And on this game, those match feature lights weren't working at all. And it, it was just a really dirty and gummed up unit down here. So now the game is at least matching. And then these would be your, your point relays going across. But this is your match feature. And then again, there's a zero, so probably tens, hundreds, thousands. And then there's nothing to drive the 10,000s just because they, they'll they just be incremented and then roll over back to zero. And then here is the units that, um, again, I should probably be looking at a schematic so I know the actual names because all my stickers are going to, I think this is called the player unit, but this controls when player one is up and when player two is up and all the different lights and corresponding features with that. So this is uh, 
just kind of a step up, step down, or not a step down, sorry, just a continuous stepper. So there's just one here that moves and, and clicks that around. But then um, that will move, and then there are cams inside of there for each one of these switch stacks that that change the features and change the players, and this changes the, the ball and play lights and things like that. So that, that all had to come apart and re-grease to make sure everything was working. All the switches in the back box were cleaned and adjusted, and everything seems to be working well. There's also, I guess we missed this Jones plug too in our video, but clean that up. It looks like you can kind of take the score reels out completely maybe with those. I just left them, like there's enough room to pull them in. And then the way these lock in, is there's this little plastic tab that you can just bend to the left and then you can pull this out. Well, that's pretty much it for inside the back box. So I'll do a play field video and then probably call this one good.